could have killed her, dude. Show the people what I just did. Well, come on, bring cameraman's tired. That was with a miss. Freedom, baby! <laughs> All right, guys, out at the range with the CZ Scorpion. Number one, I want to give a huge shout out to Gun Mag Warehouse for sending us four ETS 40 round mags and two of the Magpul 35 round mags. This gun only came with two 20 round mags, so it was going to be some pretty crappy range days. So, big shout out to Gun Mag Warehouse. Hook me up with mags all the time to do these reviews. I also buy all my mags from there. And now we have an affiliate link. Check in the description below. Are you ready? What's up guys? We are back from the range with the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 and definitely had a blast shooting this gun. Uh, comes pretty well just ready to work right out of the box other than adding a few essential upgrades that I feel like make this just one of the best sub guns for the price on the market, right? So first thing you're going to notice is that we did add a Sylvan Arms uh, Titan CZ folder on this. This allows you to put any buffer tube and brace stock combination of your choice. Um, Sylvan Arms, we've always had a really good relationship with them. So one thing I had seen that I never had a chance to use yet was their CZ folder. So the moment I got this particular gun to review, I knew I was going to keep it right away. Uh, so I had to get the folder and slap it on this bad boy. Um, the micro that we're also reviewing did come with its own SV tactical folding brace. So this one itself, the six and a half inch did not come with one. So we did have to add that ourselves. Um, luckily we do have friends in the industry that helped us out with that and as well as this really awesome grip adapter here that you see added to the gun itself. So if I had one complaint about this gun, it would be the factory dong style handle that this thing comes with. Uh, super uncomfortable, super awkward, kind of feels like it was an afterthought on the gun itself. But the biggest complaint is where it puts your trigger finger placement. So it just does not align your finger properly when you're trying to grip the gun and that safety kind of rides in the crevice of your inside of your trigger finger. So it's pretty uncomfortable. It's actually pretty uh, just bad if you're having a long range day shooting this gun. It could actually callous the inside of your finger a little bit with how rough it actually rubs against it. So Stuff and Things makes this grip adapter for I believe $40 and it allows you to put any AR-15 pistol grip that you want on this while also lining your finger up more correctly with the trigger and getting it out of the way of the safety. Um, and it doesn't actually make it very bad to come up off the grip to come and activate the safety with your index finger or your strong side or your thumb side. So two very necessary things to add to this gun. Uh, this one came with their own CZ iron sights, these kind of little pyramid looking better. things. Pretty good sights, never had any issue with those. And the way this gun sits in particular with the folding brace and uh, the iron sights, I did have a little bit of an issue coming down far enough on the gun uh, quickly. So having a high rise optic on this is definitely a must for me. Uh, definitely allowed quicker uh, sight picture, faster transitions and both optics that I had between this RMR and the right Optics XC1 just allowed me that little extra ump I felt like I needed um, to give me the benefit over the iron sights. But 
super accurate guys just attack driver i felt like i was the king of the ding at the range with this thing uh from five yards all the way out to a hundred very comfortable shooting this gun and quickly transitioning from targets all the way across the range itself very easy to shoot very easy to control super little recoil um whatever they did with the design of this gun it just all works really really well so it it definitely feels good shouldering it um uh, feels good shooting it if i had to pick on another thing it would probably be the sponginess of the trigger itself um yeah. but when you're just kind of slapping those rounds down range or mag dumping this thing you don't notice it uh, there is a few video clips i think we had where my finger does kind of slap on it a little bit but i'm trying to rapid fire and stuff so it's not horrible, it's just got quite a bit of take up and everything like a factory trigger kind of, you know, you expect it to have. Kind of comes with some sling mounts already on the gun, these little uh, clips here sitting on the front itself. And love the Moss Space Gray that this one in particular came with. Um, I keep saying it's the poor man's MP5. It is definitely the poor man's MP5. From the way the mag release sort of works to the, you know, the HK slap that this thing kind of has, just reminds me so much of an MP5 without spending MP5 money. So we also have a uh, PTR uh, 9KT right now that we're reviewing. And it's hard to justify the double the cost between the CZ and the PTR when this works so well. Now that is not a dog on PTR at all because I still want that too. But for the money, these CZ Scorpions are well worth it in my opinion. This one in particular without everything on it, you know, just the, the gun itself, I think was about $9.99 at Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. I'm not 100% sure if they have any in stock right now, but they are constantly restocking these. And the micro that we're also reviewing Put that you'll thoughts. see in a video here soon oh, well, it man. came with its own sd so tactical folding brace already on it so that one was about twelve hundred dollars uh also a little bit more upgraded than this one it has a metal tack rail Dude, and also right some magpul <laughs> embus <laughs> iron sights already on it as opposed to they the cz are. i don't know if that played any into the price itself but i imagine the brace definitely did um but yeah, you know, other than that, I added on a little tack light. We also shot this thing suppressed, super fun. Uh, if you have a nine mil suppressor, I highly recommend adding that, the optic, the grip, and the folding stock, and you are golden with this as a backpack truck gun, sub gun, you know, favorite gun, uh, home defense gun. I mean, the, the options are unlimited with this kind of platform when you get it set up the way you want. So, I think that's it guys, uh, reloads here. big thanks to He's all the companies that helped us with this video, so big shout out to Gun Mag Warehouse for sending us all the mags uh, that we were able to, you know, keep shooting without having to reload constantly. They sent us some mag pull and some ETS mags, so always hooking us up with our videos, big shout out to you guys, thank you. Um, Stuff and Things Inc. for sending us the grip adapter to test out, firm believer in this. Uh, Highly recommend for $40 that you get this over possibly even any of the other upgraded dong style grips that are out there on the market. I think there's like a total of about five upgraded CZ grips, but this gives you the option to have unlimited uh, amounts of choices with the AR-15 pistol grip platform. Um, and then Sylvan Arms. Sylvan Arms always hooking us up from the suppressors to the folders to, to some other stuff. You, you guys are awesome. You guys are all awesome. So thank you big time and big shout out to, of course, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo for keeping these guns in our hands to review and the ammo to shoot them. Uh, really appreciate you guys, especially in these times of being hard to be content creators uh, with the price of things the way they are. So. Guys, go check all them out. Give them a like and a follow. And if you like this video, let us know down in the comments below. Um, let me know if you got a CZ yourself, what upgrades you've done. If you've had any issues, I always like to hear feedback on the firearms that we're reviewing. Um, so yeah, maybe there's a accessory out there or two that we missed that are you know definite must-haves on this thing. But thank you all again. Appreciate every single one of you. Stay alert, stay alive, and we'll catch you all next time. And I hope you like the new studio. All right, let's try this. Shoot, 
reload, shoot, transition. Okay? Yeah, that won't be me, but I'm more than well with just watch you do it. <laughs> Ready. How'd it feel to be a lefty? It's not bad, especially with a gun set up for it. Gun so smooth, even a lefty could do it.